I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll see how to find limits at infinity. So we have four examples. The first one here is limit when x approaches infinity for square root of 3x square plus 1 divided by 2x minus 1. Second is limit the same function but x approaches minus infinity. Okay, So this is x approaching positive infinity to the right side minus infinity towards extreme left. C is limit when x approaches infinity for square root of x square plus 1 minus x and then D is limit when x approaches infinity for the same function uh, but this should be when x approaches minus infinity. Okay, so, so we have two very similar questions. The only difference here is that uh, we are trying to find limit when x approaches positive infinity or when x approaches negative infinity. Now there is a significance to this. By finding these limits, we can also find horizontal asymptotes. So finding limits as x approaches positive or negative limit, uh, infinity, if the function approaches a value, then we say that it is it has a horizontal asymptote and the equation will be y equals to that value right you will realize here that we might have more than one horizontal asymptote or we may not have any horizontal asymptote for the given function now now i'll take up all these questions one by one let's talk about few strategies so when we solve these kinds of questions, every question has square root of x square in it. So first thing to remember is that square root of x square is absolute value of x, not just x. And that makes a huge difference when we calculate limit approaching positive or negative infinity, right? Now, let us also observe what happens if I place a very large number in for x. So in this particular case, if I put a large number here, we know the numerator will be infinitely large and the denominator will also be infinitely large. In this particular case, well, this is exactly the same case. We are putting a negative large number. So we expect, uh, this is always positive, we expect this to be negatively large. In this particular case, we are doing takeaway. So is negative, I mean, large infinitely large number take away the other infinitely large number. Here, if I put negative number, then square root is always positive, remember that. Now this value becomes positive, right? So from the scenario, we know we are talking about three different cases which are indeterminate, right? So, so infinity over infinity, whether it is plus or minus, is called indeterminate. We cannot actually calculate this value. Even infinity take of infinity is also in the same category. So the limit may exist. However, in this case, we know it does not exist. Since we are adding to infinitely large values, so we'll definitely get a very large value. Perfect. So with this in mind, let us see what do we get as a result. We'll try to figure it out algebraically. So let's begin with the very first question, which is to evaluate limit as x approaches infinity for square root of 3x squared plus 1 divided by 2x minus 5. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay, as I just suggested, if I substitute infinitely large value here in the numerator and in denominator for x, I get infinity over infinity. Now that is indeterminate form, right? So limit might exist. So let's try to figure it out. So let's begin. Here is a procedure which could be adopted to all questions involving square root of x square. This is very important. So we have 
3x square plus 1 over 2x minus 5. So we'll apply the properties of limit. So the limit of this function is also equals to limit of the function you can write inside, right? 3x squared plus 1 over limit of denominator 2x minus 5. Now, <clears throat> the procedure here is kind of like this. Uh, this is when x approaches infinitely large value. Now, you could actually factor out x square from the numerator. So, if you factor out x square from the numerator, you get limit x approaches infinity x square 3 plus 1 over x square. So, I'm actually applying properties of limit also uh, to find these limits, right? And I'll factor out x from here. So, we get limit x approaches infinity x 2 minus 5 over x. As you can see here, when x approach infinitely large value, so so what happens to limit when x approach infinitely large value for 1 over x squared? It will approach 0, right? For 5 over x, it will also approach 0. So if I divide by infinitely large value, I will get 0. Now that could simplify my question a bit. So we'll use that strategy and continue. So we can write this as limit x approaches infinity. And we have here 3x square in the numerator. And in the denominator, we have limit x approaches infinity uh, for, so this is very small, so we get 2x. That's what we get, correct? Oh, sorry, there is no square root here. Okay, just 2x. Now, what is square root of x square? This is a positive value, right? So, square root of x square is absolute value of x. So, that gives us 3 is a constant. So, we could write this as 3 as a constant. And then we have limit x approaches positive value. And square root of x square is absolute value of x, correct? So, that's what we get. And in this particular case, we have limit x approaches infinity for 2x. Now, absolute value of x is defined as, as a piecewise function. Absolute value of x is equal to positive x or negative x depending on whether x is greater than or equal to 0 or x is less than 0. Since we are approaching positive side, this is positive x. So we could write this as uh, square root of 3 limit x approaches infinity for x over 2 limit x approaches infinity for x. Now, x over x cancel out and you are left with square root of 3 over 2. So, the answer for this is indeed square root of 3 over 2. Great. So, that is how you could find the limit for a function using properties of limits, right? Now, this time, I'll again solve the same question, but keep it simple. I'll not show you steps involved but uh, a shorter method which is normally being utilized. You can actually pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestion. The idea here is to find the, the limit when x is approaching minus infinity. Perfect, minus infinity. So let's redo this question, which is similar to what we did last time. x approaches minus infinity. The function given to us is 3x squared plus 1 over 2x minus 5. The strategy is same as we applied earlier. It remains same for all the questions involving uh, square root with x square. So what we will do here is, in the numerator, we'll factor out x square. So we are left with 3 plus 1 over x square. 
in the denominator we'll factor out x we get 2 minus 5 over x correct now limit x approaches infinity square root of x square is absolute value of x so we'll write absolute value of x and we get square root of 3 as when you are approaching a large number 1 over x square is a very small number and the denominator we get 2x now I mean sorry this is minus infinity now as you know when limit x approaches minus infinity absolute value of x is minus x so what we get here is limit x approaches minus infinity we get minus x square root 3 over 2x now x and x cancel out right so when x and x cancel out so we have limit x approaches minus infinity and when you cancel these x you get what you get square root of 3 over the negative sign over 2 and this limit is minus square root of 3 over 2 so this limit is actually negative of what we got last time so you will realize that these two functions here we approach a negative value correct and if I substitute a negative value here then uh, you could figure out that it is actually uh, since it is taking away something so you're dividing by a smaller number anyway the idea here is only to find the horizontal asymptote which is negative in this case so it is kind of like this so the function is approaching this value which is y equals to minus square root 3 over 2 that is when when you're approaching the negative x earlier we figured out that it was approaching the positive value so that function will have two horizontal asymptotes so if you are working out a question based on horizontal asymptotes you get two equations for horizontal asymptotes one with negative square root 3 over 2 the other one with positive square root 3 over 2 depending on whether you are approaching to the right side or left side okay now let's take up the next two questions now here we have square root of x square plus 1 minus x and then square root of x square plus 1 minus x on the left side we are checking for the limit x approaches infinity and on the right side x approaches minus infinity so on our check what we figure out if I say positive infinity this expression is positive infinitely large taking away infinitely large so this could lead to a value right so here there's possible to lead to a value but in this particular case we're talking about <coughs> infinity and minus of minus infinity which makes it addition of to infinity so that is definitely infinitely large so we can write does not exist correct okay so let's solve this now so what we have here is limit x approaches positive infinity square root of x square plus 1 minus x now in such cases we need to rationalize to find the answer so the strategy is very different we'll rationalize So to solve indeterminates with square roots, rationalization is a standard technique. So we'll rationalize this time and that makes it different from previous example. How do you rationalize just the numerator? There is no denominator here. You multiply and divide by its conjugate. So this method is same. Conjugate is change this sign, right? So multiply and divide by its conjugate plus x now when you do that in the numerator you get difference of squares so you get x square plus 1 minus x square and in the denominator we have square root of x square plus 1 plus x now this gives you limit x approaches infinity x square minus x square cancel out so so you get uh, uh, one there 
divided by so here we could when we are going to large value square root of x squared is absolute value of x which is also x so we get x plus x here right so that gives you limit x approaches infinity 1 over 2x now when x is very large dividing by a large number is 0 and therefore this limit is 0 now some of you if you use this function to find horizontal asymptote then you can say that the horizontal asymptote will be y equals to 0 that is the x-axis right so that is how you could find the limit and finding limit also means for infinitely large value also finding equation of horizontal asymptotes so what we learned in this particular video is technique of finding limits for examples which involve square root of x square now you could have these kinds of examples right you could have these kinds of examples and finding limit as x approaches infinity also means horizontal asymptote so we found that there is a horizontal asymptote in these three cases y equals to square root of 3 over 2 is the answer here y equals to square root of 3 over 2 with a negative sign when approaching negative value in this case it was 0 y equals to 0 and in this case we found that it does not exist correct so that is how you could actually solve such questions the last question here part c and d we did by rationalization and here we just analyze the situation and say well this will not exist since both are adding up right infinitely large values if you do rationalization also in the denominator we'll get x minus x which is zero dividing by zero is also undefined so I hope with this you learn the techniques of finding horizontal asymptote and also the limit when x approaches positive and negative infinity. I hope the concept is clear. Feel free to share your comments and views. If you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.